In this tutorial today, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step guide on how to carry out buying and buying of crypto using your Bybit exchange. If time permits, because I don't want the video to be too long, we'll proceed to selling. But our first main target is buying and sell or is buying of crypto on your Bybit exchange. This particular tutorial is to serve as a guide to all our crypto users who are more familiar with the Bybit exchange other than the Binance exchange. So to avoid keeping them in dark, so we need to also show them how to buy crypto using the Bybit exchange. Before we continue, I welcome you to my channel World Alert, where We are remain your great guide into making money through simplified tutorials on how to navigate the crypto space and also how to invest in the crypto space prudently to make profit. This particular tutorial today is in continuation of this Abybit series that we commenced few days ago. So we'll proceed from here. So now we are back to Abybit exchange. And before I forget, for those who are new to my channel, I indulge you to click on the subscribe icon and to also like our videos, drop your comments and also share our videos. And if you, to, in order to fully understand this particular tutorial, we have to go back to the tutorial on the Bybit interface so that it will give you a beginner's guide before you now come here to proceed on your learning process. So to continue with this tutorial, and for those who do not have a Bybit account, the link to get started will be dropped in the description box. And just as I said, you also watch the vid tutorial on the Bybit interface for beginners to also get a better clarity. So we proceed with our tutorial for today. You'll be clicking on your, on your buy slash deposit on your homepage. Before I proceed, let me put it as a notice that this is applicable to countries where buying and selling of crypto is not fully legalized using their bank cards. So basically, buying and selling of cryptos in those countries are being bought through what is being called P2P, which is peer-to-peer -peer method. So once you click on this, your buy or slash deposit on your uh, on your ex homepage on the exchange. It takes you to deposit with crypto, buy with NGN and P2P trading. You see these options, especially this buy with NGN, because the country where I'm making this video from is Nigeria, and it's Nigeria I selected when opening this my Bybit exchange. So here now, it's asking you to either deposit crypto, that is you already have crypto in another wallet, that is another exchange, either your Binance or another Bybit or somebody else wants to send you crypto. So you use this one to, as deposit crypto. That is the option they give. But for today's tutorial, we are going to concentrate. We are concentrating on the P2P, which is to buy. So we'll click on our P2P trading. It asks us, it's asking us to complete the P2P trades in three steps. That is tell you, you select your ad, you complete your bank payments, then you receive your coins. So we'll proceed. Looking at the market today, you can see that we have different merchants that are selling. We have the Swift Jeff. The, the, you, looking at them, you can see there are different names that are selling. One thing I want us to bear in mind to carry out the successful trading using our P2P is to watch out for the other price that the seller is selling. That is their limit. Looking at their limit, you can see that this limit here is from 1,000 to 2,000 to 292,000 and above. This one is from 1,500 and above. This is from $2,000 and above. You should also look at their prices that they sell. This particular seller sells at 923 Nera Etikobo. This sells as 924. This sells as 9 
24.50 kubo. So the prices varies. And then also, for you to successfully impute your own price that you want to buy, let's assume you want to buy $10 worth of crypto, you now come and first try, maybe you can try using your P2P Express by clicking on this P2P trading column here. It will open up the option for P2P Express. That is here it is, that it asks you to buy one click buy. So once you click on this P2P Express here, here you don't need to select a trader. You just impute the amount you want to buy. Then and Bybit interface will just select a trader for you and connect you. All you need to do is just to pay. So now you want to buy either using crypto or using Naira. So you impute the amount you want to buy. Let's assume you want to buy the amount of 10,000 for 10,000 Naira. This is the amount you want to buy. It is telling you that this is the amount of crypto you will receive, which is 10.81. And it tells you that this is the exchange rate it's giving you at 9.25. If you now feel the one click buy is too high, you can still go back to the buying and selling of the of the other merchants to see if you can get a lower price as against the one click buy. So for you to still check alternatives here, you click on this your filter and impute the price you want to buy so that it will filter it out for you. So on clicking our filter. We are putting in the amount that we want to buy. We want to buy for 10,000. We'll confirm it. If now give us different sellers that are selling and buying at the price range that we want. So after payment is being made, we'll now click, I decided not to show the, the bank payment details to avoid lengthening the video. So you now click on payments completed. So I'll click on payments completed. They said to avoid restrictions on P2P, please ensure payments are made from an account that matches your registered name, which is this and which is what I've done. So I now confirm that I've made payments. So we'll now wait for the coins to be released. And this is the estimated time of release, which is 9 minutes, 52 seconds. So definitely we still have to pause this video to wait for the funds to be released because our main aim of today's tutorial is how to buy crypto using your Bybit exchange. As we await our crypto to be released, for adventure, maybe something took you off the page as a newbie. You shouldn't be scared if you are off the page. You just come to your, you go back to your home page. Assuming you are off the page, maybe a distraction took you off the page after you made payments. You'll be like, where do I see my transaction? You still go back to, to, to your buy slash deposit. You click on P2P trading. Then you see your order in progress. As is shown here. You see your order in progress, then you click on it, that is to view it, or you can now see, it now shows you P2P trading, it shows you in progress or all, that is the ones you have completed or the one that is ongoing. So you now click this in progress, which is still showing pending coin release, it opens up back. So it shows you that this is the transaction you've carried out. And you are waiting for the seller to unlock. So you are waiting for the seller to confirm. So that your crypto will be released to you. That is 10.8 USDT. So meanwhile as we still wait. We will go back to our wallet session. That is the asset session. Of the exchange. Here is the asset session. We will click on it. On our asset session. Bear in mind. That once you buy 
crypto this is where it is being reflected on your funding wallet so we are waiting for this particular crypto to be released once it's released it will be reflected in our funding wallet that is where you see it here you can see here i don't have any particular crypto in this particular uh, wallet so it shows here on your funding wallet so we still have to wait for the seller to release our crypto Also, while you wait, you can still contact the seller. For adventure, the seller went offline. During the course of transaction, you click on contact. Then you drop a message to tell the seller to kindly confirm payment for release of crypto. So you now send. So the seller will now receive a message and this particular seller has also dropped their whatsapp contact so if you see that your patience is not patient enough to wait you can also send this particular seller a message of crypto but the time for release is here to elapse so we'll still wait so finally our crypto has been released you can now see that it says transaction completed this particular trader took time as the trader was not online so please i forgot to check so whenever you want to carry out any p2p trading always check to confirm if the trader is online before you place your trade you can see this particular one is not online this is not online actually was carried away by the lowest price but always check if the trader is online before you carry out your transaction to avoid to save your time because you also have other things and other reasons why you enter the market to buy so we'll now proceed to our assets and just as i said once you make any purchase your funds will be credited into your funding account so the, here's our funding account and our crypto has been released into our funding account i fully believe as the video has went this length maybe after this we'll do another video on how to sell but i strongly believe that you fully understand how to carry out a buy trade on your bybit exchange so watch out for my next video on how to sell see you soon and please do not forget to click on the subscribe subscribe icon like my videos and share my videos. I'll see you soon.